And Dear John is a segment that we do with uh, John Acuff. He is the writer of Stuff Christians Like and also uh, the book Quitter. You have a Quitter conference too, don't you? We do. July 30th in Nashville. It's going to be a full day to talk about how do you close the gap between your day job and your dream job. So if you want to sign up, it's johnacuff.com slash events. J-O-N-A-C-U-F-F dot com slash events. That's how you know when someone named John is cool when they drop the H. I didn't need it. It felt yeah. heavy yeah, and uh, it was baggage. preposterous. It's not doing anything. It's such a lazy H. It's silent. <laughs> yeah, it's silent. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, what happens is with Dear John is John goes through some of your letters and we talk about some of the uh, funny side or the lighter side of Christian culture. And you can always write uh, your letters uh, to John, your Dear John letters at totalaccess.com. Plus, uh, if you want to see what John looks like, he is getting grayer by the day. Uh, you can check that out <laughs> on our Grand Canyon University camera. At totalaccess.com. The next, the next move is for me to wear a ridiculous hat that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll get there eventually. <laughs> you don't like my hat, I think. it. <laughs> well, did you park your your cab, your British cab, somewhere? <laughs> did you take the loo? <laughs> Uh, apparently, John does not know how this works. I make fun of the guests. Uh, <laughs> I would have gone picnic table shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what's the first letter you got, John? The first one I got is from Adrian. And Adrian writes, Dear John, why do, pat- why do churches have signs forbidding non-water drinks when I clearly see the pastor walking around with coffee on Sunday morning? Mm. My first thought there is non-water drinks. I've never is even that- seen that sign. I don't even know if that's possible. I feel like every drink has some degree of water yeah, in it. Yeah, or else but it's sludge. This or- might be a weird church. My, my thing with that is that it's such a change. When I went to church growing up, if you had tea or coffee in the sanctuary, you became the coffee guy. Uh-huh. Like the weird guy that was part of your nickname. Now right. if I go to church without it, I feel naked. Yeah. Everybody's got a cool mug. And so what I've thought about doing is creating my own Bible with a hollowed out spine that you could put coffee in, mm-hmm. almost like a Bible flask, if you will. Yes. And then it looks like you're kissing the Bible, which is holy looking, <laughs> but you're also drinking coffee and you don't get judged. And I'd probably call it the Father, Son, and Holy Roast. Nice. <laughs> That's not a bad plan. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. No, I mean, you've I got know. a big audience. If somebody wants to make it happen, I'm yeah, there. You guys could partner up on that. I actually uh, like that idea. Uh, we have. Uh, I, I want to get to another question with you for sure uh, from Dear John, and we'll do that in 10 minutes with John Acuff on Total Access. <laughs> It's Total Access. I'm Wall, and we got John Acuff from Stuff Christians Like in his book Quitter uh, doing our Dear John. Remember, you can uh, send your questions to John Acuff about Christian culture, the musings, your ponderings, and uh, we will do our best to answer them here uh, at Total Access. You can also uh, watch this on our Grand Canyon University camera at TotalAccess.com. All right, so what letter do you have today, John? Got a great one. It's from Angel Phillips Falk. She says, Dear John, Whatever happened to good old-fashioned Sunday school? Uh, Angel is a person after my own heart. Amen. And uh, I miss it's, it. It's not just that it's gone. You can't say it. Yeah. We had somebody at, at a church once. We said, oh, our three-year-old is loving Sunday school. And they said, y- you mean small group? For three-year-olds? Yeah, yeah my three-year-old is going to yeah. get the nomenclature difference. We mailed her pacifier to Cinderella <laughs> at Disney World when we wanted her to be done with it. But she's going to understand yeah. the difference between Sunday school and small group. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like, I know, like, I went to an adult Sunday school class. Like and we called it Sunday school, but then the, it, it, it's 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 just terminology. A small group, except in small group, you end up being at somebody's house and wasting time talking about life and eating. You but know? you're doing life together. Yes, yeah, I hate that. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of that. You don't like, like you life and, group? No, I don't. I don't like any of those. Quite honestly, <laughs> like you and I were. I I much rather prefer going to the Sunday school class before church. Like even as an adult, I actually like that better. I don't like going to people's houses, and I don't like getting too emotionally invested in anybody. And <laughs> I just don't. I, I feel that about you, and I know that to be true, because we were in small we group were. together. We, we started were. to do life together. Yep, I know. And then I was 
was like, it was too icky, and uh, I got out. Uh, now, like, well, mainly because you kept dominating the whole small group with your life, and it was like, you, you have so many problems. Wally's, you know? Wally's <laughs> announcement at small group was, I might use anything you say on the radio, which is such a great icebreaker to yeah. someone who's crying about their potential divorce. Yeah. <laughs> but in fairness, I have to let people know that stuff. P.S. Your material. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, did you stick uh, in with that small group? I did. Group? I'm still rocking it. Are you really? You can probably see the glow on my face like Moses wow. the radiance I know there's a difference between you doing life with people and me not doing life with people it's true it's true there's a change yeah. in my life I'm fine Crazy. with it you're not jaded and bitter at all no mm. I, I wish we still had it the thing I do like about church though is when they'll tag kids like a whale like oh, you'll turn the, in your kid and, they'll yeah. get, and you'll get a number yeah. and then they'll flash that number then you have to pretend that kid wasn't yours you've got a phone call <laughs> yeah. like I'm not a bad parent yeah. not standing up for that hellion yeah. it's, it's yeah, not that's, me that's the uh, kid over there that's the parents uh, kid over there in the pew the one that was late yeah, and yeah. refused to raise their arm during worship exactly that's, that's their Even. kid I'm taking a phone call about some orphans I'll be right back <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> alright well if you want to get your uh, email questions into John do it at Dear John at TotalAccess.com. John Acuff, thank you for being on the show, man. Thanks for having me, Wally. All right, buddy. <laughs>